Just a quick thought on the basics of AI to provide a foundational understanding. When I explain AI to audiences around the world, to me, it's all about four discrete parts. The data, processing speed, algorithms, and the domain expertise. Trillions or even quadrillions of data points are now available. Compute, or the cloud-based microchips, are making it increasingly easier to understand and leverage those trillion data points. Basically, computers are now so fast at better processing all the information out there. The third piece is likely the most important aspect, the algorithm, or what I like to call the if-then statement. That is, if X happens, then do Y. AI was initially programmed to, to make decisions about something, right? If pixel color shows up as white, automatically change it to blue. Imagine a tree of decisions like that with a billion branches and its ability to make those decisions instantaneously all the way up to the top of the tree. Ultimately, huge amounts of data combined with faster processing speeds have led us to being able to scale these decision trees and AI to exponentially grow. While my example is a little rudimentary, the algorithms have become increasingly complex, such that domain expertise, humans who would train that algorithm, have become a little bit less important with the generative AI movement, where AI is now better able to train itself using things like generative adversarial networks. Those are GANs. GANs consist of two neural networks, fancy computers, the generator and the discriminator. They compete against each other in a game like setup. The generator generates synthetic data, i.e. images and text and sound from random noise, while that discriminator's task is to distinguish between real and fake data. The generator aims to create increasingly realistic data to deceive the discriminator, while the discriminator improves its ability to differentiate real from generated data. Through this competition, GANs are capable of generating highly realistic content that have been successful in using images for synthesis, as well as art creation and video generation. It's fantastic to watch.